with breaking news. And that breaking news is out of downtown Sacramento tonight, where we now know three people have been rescued from an apartment fire. Let's get right to CBS 13's Rob Malcolm. He's live on 10th and E Streets for us tonight. Rob, what are you learning about those rescues? Yeah, right now, Sacramento fire crews are still kind of mopping up the scene. They made quick work of this fire, but let's take you inside as to where this fire started. This is in the first floor of this apartment, and as you mentioned, uh, there were three victims tonight. Only one was transported to the hospital. Now, this apartment complex houses uh, is home to many elderly people. Uh, here's what we were uh, seeing and hearing this evening. These images from the fire that quickly ripped through the complex in the 500 block of 10th Street. It moved so quickly, Kevin Johnson injured his foot, jumping from this second story window. And I went to the restroom, and the smoke was coming out of the bathroom. And I was wondering where the smoke was from. So I went to the front door, and the door was hot. So I touched the door, and I couldn't get out. So we immediately tried to go out the window and tried to jump. jumped. And I was taking my friend with me, but she got scared and pulled back. SAC FIRE SAYS THERE WERE MULTIPLE RESCUES TONIGHT. ONE UNIT HOUSES EIGHT APARTMENTS AND TWO FAMILIES ARE DISPLACED TONIGHT. THE FIRE ONLY GOING TO A SINGLE ALARM BECAUSE FIRE CREWS MOVE SO QUICKLY. A QUICK FIRE ATTACK INITIALLY. THEY SPLIT IN TWO DIFFERENT DIRECTIONS, PUTTING WATER ON THE FIRE. WE MADE ACCESS TO THE SECOND FLOOR BY CLIMBING THROUGH A WINDOW WITH A LADDER. AND WE FOUND THE VICTIM IN THE BEDROOM BARRICADED IN. We were able to uh, rescue her, and then our uh, another fire crew was able to go up the stairwell, broke through the door, and we were able to move the victim out of the second floor down the stairs. Now, the battalion chief says uh, they have a fire in investigator on the scene. They do believe the fire started here on the first floor and then climbed to the second. Luckily, there were no serious injuries tonight. Only one person transported to the hospital. This fire right now still under investigation.